Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms, the new Fates Divided DLC as Tarsal. So, we have a rebellion here that I am letting to fester for a while. Um, we've got a lot of money coming in. I actually need to start spending some on upgrading some of these places because they are becoming uh, upset, shall we say. That one definitely needs to be upgraded. Um, so yeah, like we, we're doing well over on this front. We have our armies in position. So Xu Huang has taken Wudu Shangui, and he's going to advance into Tianshui and then up to Tanluan. Yu Jin has taken Xiabian and is going to go on to Yinping in a couple of turns. He just needs to replenish his forces. And uh, Ta Ren has taken Bashi Zetong, um, smashing Liu Jiang's armies. Our forces, however, now are a little bit knackered. They need a break over in this area. I guess we could start to advance the boy down to help out, though. Just to speed things along. Definitely mileage in that. So, uh, down you come. We're going to move him at top speed. And then we'll start to build his army out when he's actually down here. Uh, but we want him down here just so he can help support, just in case we get counterattacked. And then we can go into Luo Chong um, whilst he's still replenishing or at roughly the same time. Um, there is a big war going on over here between Sun Tzu and his faction against Liu Biao. And as you can see, Liu Biao has taken some ground, but he's losing some ground. There are armies all over the place. As you can see, here's Liu Tong. They're going to win this fight over here. Xie Xie is part of our coalition. He's supporting. But here we have Zhang Zhao with, you know, good generals up against Huang Zhong with, you know, Dross. So it's going to be quite interesting. They have a huge number of forces. That is the problem. There are a lot of people in play down here, as you can see. Um, but this provides us with an opportunity. This provides us with a big opportunity. He's unfriendly. He's a war with lots of people. We have trade with him, but we could potentially trade with someone else. There is mileage in us attacking him. To be honest, there is a huge amount of mileage in us attacking him. Um, but I think we'll just wait just for a little bit longer just to see how this plays out. I think he's picked a fight he can't win. But uh, we will see. We will see. There's some serious people in his, his fight. Where's Gan Ning? I think Gan Ning's army has been destroyed. Uh, who knows? Who knows? You can see everything down here, though. You can see absolutely everything. Shu Hui's taking territories down there. And then we got... Yeah. Very nice with all these friendly people. Um... It's not going to last forever, of course. We're eventually going to need to smash their faces in. Or vassalize them, whichever one they prefer. I don't think so. Yes, I do. You betrayed me. I'm going to crush you. It's the opportunity I've been waiting for. Uh, should Han Sui do something similar, we'll take him out. And same with Zhang Lu. It's very, very simple. I am going to take the west, and then we're going to move south. We're going to have our armies in the west be able to move across, and we will wipe them. Okay, they're in coalition. The tribes united. In the south, there are rumors that a leader has risen among the tribes there. One who has united them all under a single banner. Whether they are a threat to the Han and the people of China is yet undecided. Perhaps we should send emissaries to judge the worth of this new burgeoning nation. Tao Zhe has come of age. Fantastic. The drunk. Extending our reach. There is great importance to controlling the rivers throughout China. More so if your future conquests see you heading south across them. Alongside their strategic positions, both Xiangyang and Nan commanderies potentially hold an abundance of jade production and livestock that will no doubt benefit your people. So this is trying to push me to wipe out Liu Biao uh, following the history. Uh, but we control it through allies, so we've got that. Living in harmony? Fantastic. That's a nice 5k income, actually, that we can spend. Uh, nope. 
Good, he must be tolerant. And yeah. Simon recalled. Um who has leveled up? Porong has leveled up, has he? Well. Wisdom of the River, Inspiring Surge, I don't care. Have one of those. Um, okay, Kong Rong is ready. You are gonna continue to book it all the way down here. Quickly now. How many turns do you need? You need three turns before you're ready to go. That's quite a lot. You can wait here for your three turns though. Stick you there in ambush mode. You. Ooh. Eight turns. That's brutal. Can't be having that. Go on. Xu Huang into Tian Shui. Ooh. This is the army. Here's Pangda. Pangda is a beast. Ah. This is potentially problematic. Were we to shift back a touch? Here, let's say. And go into ambush mode. That will work. Um, Eight turns, you say? Well, eight turns, you can sit there and wait. I think that's fine. You boys are almost in position. You can upgrade that. We need the... Food, her dong, no, you're fine. You still need one more turn. She, her can definitely be upgraded. But at the same time, we can go straight in here. Next turn and take that. That will be great. Actually, if it's next turn, that means I've got 2,000. That I can still spend, should I need it. Somewhere, I'm being potentially... Uh, no, I'm gonna leave that as it is for now. Yeah, there we go. Got an extra thousand. Um, don't want that. Yeah. There. Yeah, we should have enough. Awesome. Okay. We'll wait another turn. So, Li Shu, of course, is a vassal of Sun Tzu. He's an ambush. Magnificent. Um, let's fight a night battle. Quick save. Let's see if we can do this. This will actually be quite hard. They don't have as much cavalry as I thought they were going to have. My cavalry has an edge over their cavalry simply because they lack the numbers, not because they have the. we have a, a distinct quality advantage. We don't. The Chang cavalry is, is really good. Um, I imagine they'll be pretty similar to the Tiger Cubs in a straight fight, but they have uh, numbers and uh, veterancy increases on us. Our Xiongnu Cavalry is good, though. So our Xiongnu Cavalry should do all right. Peng De is the problem. He's a monster. <sighs> okay, so let's get everyone back here for a sec. That, 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 that. Um, so, he's up at the front. He's in the middle. They are all... Like, all of these generals are problems. All of them. That we need to deal with. We're going to have the charging numpties coming from here. Coming from here. Now, they will potentially run at the first sight of danger. You boys are going to position yourself here. One, two, three, and you boys can position yourself here. You're going to sit back, and we don't want flaming rocks, I don't think. The Li Yang Daring Infantry, congratulations, be daring. White Horse Raiders, I do want you in runaway mode. And you're going to be over here, creating problems. Then, Cav and Cav suppose we'll come in here you two i suppose will be over here to face him you both are gonna go for him straight away 
absolutely straight away. Reinforced by these boys in shield wall. And you chaps are going to be over here in shield wall formation. Then, let's hope this works. Go, 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 go. Kill. Charge, charge, you and you. Gank him. Charge. One and two. Just advance over here for a second. Get him. And get him. Swing over here. Deal with them. Here we go. Crush, crush, crush. Go nuts, boys. Go nuts. Charge. Charge. Go support. Go support. Hold. Right, you and you. Gank across here. Archers, do your stuff. Crush anyone who thinks they're going to try and run away from this. You, swing. Get over here. Get over here. These boys need killing. You, out. Hold. Chong Yi Chong, flames. Kill him. Do not stop killing him. That is how this works. You kill him. You do not stop killing him. Keep on it. You come over here. They're going to make us run and run and run. That's all there is to say about this over here. Right. Chase them off. Fight them down. Chase. Come on. Back out over here. You, you're back. Excellent job. Kill. Kill, 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 kill. Gank. Excellent, boys. Smash them. Do you know what? Chase them down. Good man. Good man. Bring him down. Let's get rid. Let's get rid. Let's get rid. Kill him. Shit. They're getting pounded on. Which means you need to come back over here. You boys, how are we doing? Those spear guards? Yeah, they'd be crushed. Get over here. Get over here. Deal with them. On this side. Yeah. Chase them down. You boys, coming back over here. All of you lot. Gank him. You gank him. You're back. Magnificent. Kill. How dare they. Stay on them. Stay on them. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah. See this? The Chang Hunters. Just have the edge against our cavalry. Once he's off the field, then we can release Xu Huang. But I, yeah, he's gone. Back over here. Kill them. Right. You're going to chase them. 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 All good. All good. All good. Kill. Kill. Shoot them. Shoot them. We've left you unprotected, I know. Gash, you, it's time for you to come in here. Ravage these people. Absolutely smash them. Go on, see them gone. You see them gone. Where are you? Ah, magnificent. Kill and kill. Let's get these Chung Hunters. Boys, see if we can crack that lot, please. Chase, you got them. Chu Huang is on the way back. You're here too. Very, very good indeed. Over here. All of you, all of you, kill them. He's going to go down. Infantry, over here. Pang De is going to need taking out properly. Ah, shit, they're coming back. Old. Get in here, you're going to cause fear and break them. You chase them. Alright, they're running. They're running. Get over here. Come on, you as well. 
You as well. Actually, no. You see them off. You come over here. See him dead. Boys, you've done a great job. Just keep holding. Chu Hong, let's finish this. Let's finish this now. Off he runs. Pangda is going to need properly killing, though. Hopefully, he can come and join our side. That would be awesome. Yeah, he, uh, he's done so well, even without a weapon. He's done well. But we've crushed this army. Taken a few losses, which we were going to do. But, there we go. Close victory. Take that. We have smashed his army. There's not that much left of it. Tiger Cops did really well in that. Really well. Considering who they were fighting and all the rest. Okay. Feel your favour. Ma Tong. Well, we'll employ you. And... <sighs> such a shame. Yeah. Ah. Ah. That is less good. We might need you Jin up there to help. Hmm. We might have just extended this war. <laughs> Alright. I'll have a look at the situation properly. He's declared war on Liu Jiang. Looters have been destroyed. We have Battle Axe. Rivals. Buildings. Character developments. Pang De has come to join us. Well. Uh, first of all, what do you have in the way of weapons? Also, I have a Battle Axe. Accessories. Either of those really needed for you. So we shouldn't worry about that too much. You keep trotting down this way. You, my man. Arguably, could continue. What do they have in Yimping? Pretty decent, actually. And here... What do they have? Uh. Mm. Yeah. Potentially out of our ability to deal with this, but let's night battle this and see what happens. That army is pretty badly kicked. Ma Xiu, we will bring you in. Huailan Li, you can disappear. Okay. Naked and violent. Why? He's nowhere near. I don't know why. It just randomly pops up when he's had nothing to do with the conflict at all. Um, okay. So Xu Xu randomly got naked and violent over in the east of China have some of this so we've got flame and this is a valiant defeat it says yeah I'm not so sure not so sure they will come at us this force is the one that's the threat so let us trot off over this way. Done enough there. We can start to fall back. In fact, I can Hawk and Tiger back into our territory. Not just back into our territory, but all the way back into the town to hold. That works. That works. We've got money coming out of our ears that we need to spend on stuff that's going to benefit us so let's focus on the areas that need some upgrades so here you can go up look and yeah you can definitely up that Donghai 
Oh, more, more, more food is always good. Lang Ya just wants walls. You're okay. One more turn, you'll be sorted. We spent most of our money anyway. Time to smash them. And... 92 left. Uh, sorry, 92 dead. Ooh, sh should have taken money. No matter though. Kill. Delegate. Nice. Head chopped off. And we'll take the 22 gold. And we'll go back to our position over here. Sorted. Very, very effective. Do you need any toys? No. You need a toy. Probably not, actually. Probably not. Okay. Yeah, we're all right. We're all right over in this area. He still needs to hold there. He needs to hold there. We've got extra troops that we can potentially bring out if we need to. Um, here. This army. Shit, we don't have the cash now. I just spent it all. Uh, we'll wait another turn. I should have remembered that. I didn't. It's okay. But we do have an assignment, I saw. So, assignments. Hmm. Huainan, industry and peasantry. So, where is our peasantry? Xiu Ying. Off you trot. Bring me money. Next turn. <clears throat> What is Liu Zhang going to do? Seemingly nothing. However, Sun Tzu is still advancing unopposed, which I don't like. Liu Biao's army is all in the wrong places to deal with Sun Tzu. He's got a lot down in the south, but Sun Tzu can just march straight through. Beautiful versus Law. I have to go with duty with Cao Pi. Um, actually, probably would anyway. Is it unjust, you consider, to be loyal to one lord without ever questioning their greater motives? The mandate of heaven has forever shifted according to celestial direction. Should not you also bend with winds of heavenly guidance? So... Uh, nobody! Character ranks gain, Shin yo Aha! Eh. Why can I not... Turn the tide. Do I need to have both? Maybe. I know. I want turning the tide. That's his special uh, thing, as you can see. It's uh, pretty damn effective if enemy are routing. Uh, anyway, we'll deal with that later. 7,000, not quite enough. Not quite enough. Um, okay. We're going to shift here. And you're going to go back into ambush mode. You can push here now. I think you have enough. Yep. That'll do the trick. Taken. More Imperial Favour. We've got so much Imperial Favour. I don't know what to do with it. Siliri's gain a military instructor as well. That's all good. You don't need to be in running mode now. You can just get to your position. You move pretty damn quickly as it is. Um, and I think we could... Go on. Let's have two of those while we can. There. We still can keep enough money for later. How many more turns till you're ready? Two turns. Okay. We are going to wait just for them to replenish, I think. Ah, she here. No, you're all good. You don't need anything. All right. Next turn. We're going to run out of some of these deals uh, for food eventually. And we're going to take a massive hit to our income. So I'm slightly wary of that. I know that even though we've got like 5k coming in right now, that's not going to last. 
And I do want to settle she her just so that uh, Jiang Yan doesn't have it. Okay, your army's made it back. Fair play. Not going to live though. So. Ooh. Is that my vassal coming to help? Watching the Watchers. Your attendant has been striving to root out corruption in your commanderies. Recently discovering a guard who was taking bribes to allow illicit goods into the city. Your attendant cornered the guard and imprisoned them. The city should be more uh, secure now. How oh, magnificent. Well done. So he's gained. Clay dog. Traits gained. Honest. Chandong is bright. Very, very good indeed. Um... Okay, you're going to come up here to support, I think. Take a, a a while to get there. That's no problem. You are going to advance to Chengdu. And you are going to advance into Luochong. Because this is just straightforward. And then we can... Build your army out a little bit more from here. Nice job. And you have leveled up as well. It reach is so good. And he is already quick. He's going to be one of the fastest around the map we have. I do like Cao Zhang. He is such a good officer to have. And Shao... Yeah, you might get a, a administrative job. So we'll up that. Yeah, by who? Yeah, you're pissed. I understand why. Um, tell you what, let's give you. Let's give you a. Let's make you a senior officer, or we'll make you an attendant. I'll make you an attendant for now, to stop you complaining. I think. Then, before I do anything else, Shao Dun, into Li Shi, establish order. Good man, and build that thing. Uh, also, we now have some spare change. So, let's have uh, one of these, and two of these. And we probably here want hmm honest we probably want some more cav but they're quite fun get some chingo spears you know just for just for the laugh we'll get some chingo spears actually um just we've got some more anti cav in this force um and all right i think uh does it for this episode we're in a very strong position here um we have recolonized a chunk of this uh the old form of binjo uh, which is gonna serve us well we might be able to start pushing up here as well as the funds come in yes yeah, we've already taken a massive hit so one of our deals has gone um we are in a position where this army is going to be a turn away before it goes back to tian shui and this force is going to come up to support them as well. So Machao's days are numbered. We've brought in Pangda as well. So it's all going our way. On this front, as you can see, we are winning. Absolutely winning. Cao Zhang's force is now here. And he is going to move like lightning across this battlefield. Um, we're going to have uh, his force just smash all the way down. Uh, down to Ba, smash all this area here. Was Cao Ren clears out the western part of Ijo. It's going to go our way, undoubtedly. Here we have Zhang Xiu, who is coming with his forces. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? You can come and join us. That'll be fun. But yeah, we're, we're definitely winning that. This, however, this war here is not going well for Liu Biao. It's not going badly, but it's not going well. Sun Tzu's armies seem to be everywhere, and Liu Biao's armies seem to be nowhere where they're needed. And that is a massive problem. Gan Ning is back on the field. Eh. With a couple of people. But as you can see, he's been outplayed. He's rushing to the battles. We're going to have to help him. 
if he wants to win this, but we're not going to do so just yet. It's going to come though. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.